Today is Monday, which means it's time to unveil today's Pet of the Week with the Paws and Purrs Animal Rescue. And joining me live in studio today is Brenda Boynton from the Animal Rescue alongside the adorable Jax here yes. who is about how old was he again that you told he me? He's four months old. Four right months now. old. Yep. He's still a puppy in that yes. puppy energy mood. Tell yes. us a little bit about Jax here and how he came to the shelter. Okay. Well, Jax is four months old right now. He came in when he was about seven weeks. Um, he was hit by a car. So we took him in and um, and he's been with his uh, foster that he's with right now that she does an amazing job. And um, so Jax here will need to have his leg amputated when he's about six months old. The vet has decided that that's best for him. Um, being a Jack Russell pug is his mix and he is very active. So anyone looking to put in an application for him, it'd be best to kind of know the breed. Um, and especially right now uh, with his medical issues, um, being able to, to take care of him and, and uh, know this. I know, <laughs> know this kind of breed. He's super sweet. He and is. I, I'm wondering with, you know, I'm sure there's so many both dogs and cats that come through the shelter that have this similar experience where they go through a very traumatic experience in their life. Yeah. How is that adjusting for those for those animals to come going into a home that have those traumatic experiences with them? Yeah, um, most of these guys do pretty well. I know he's done amazing. Yeah. And um, we have amazing fosters that um, are kind of used to the to the routine of, of different ones coming in with with different medical issues and and so um, yeah so they all do they seem to do pretty good I know I know <laughs> they're so sweet and what would be the best fit home that you would recommend for Jax for uh, someone out there wondering if he would be best suited in their home yeah right now we're looking for someone that knows the breed and because of his medical issue uh, that they would need to be able to know how to take care of him once he does have his procedure done. But he's um, a very sweet little guy and very active, so um, that's always the thing, trying to keep him calm while he's going through things. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, any upcoming events that the shelter is having that folks should mark in their calendars or be aware of to keep in their radar? Um, we are doing a couple events in, um, in August, it'll be an adoption event. They are both at the Bath Tractor Supply. Um, and you can find uh, the dates and times for those right on our website. If you're interested in fostering, um, just go to pawsandpurs.org. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Brenda, for joining us this morning. And of course, to you too, little Jax. Hopefully, yeah. anyone at home, if you're interested in applying or potentially giving him a home, make sure to visit our website at WNY.com. We'll have all the details on how you can apply, but that does it for us on Pet of the Week.